you know, you, you learn that and you learn how to do things that way. Now, I, the, and the most difficult colors to do are these what's called tertiary colors. You have primary, red, blue, and yellow. You have secondary, which is those three mixed together, you know, just two colors. You take red and yellow, you make orange, and then you take yellow and blue, you make green. So those are the secondary colors, orange, green, purple. And then everything else, all the browns and grays and stuff, are made up of all of those colors, believe it or not. But thank goodness you can buy browns and grays and things like that. But what I've tried to do over time is to um, consolidate. I, I have like what I call primary brown colors, all colors. I've got a yellow brown, a reddish brown. Uh, this is okay. Reddish brown, and uh, this uh, and uh, raw umber is like a grayish brown. And anything made out of gr uh, that looks gray is made out of blue. You know, so it's kind of like red, yellow, and blue to start with. If it's, I'll show you what I mean. The other color I like to use for white uh, grays is uh, Payne's gray. Uh, you can buy black oil paint, and then there, but oil paint is very primitive, uh, and and again, it tends to be very intense, and color, which the picture painters like, they like that uh, depth of you know strong colors and things. Um, black, like uh, lamp black and. Uh, Some of the other Mars, ones. Uh, ivory, ivory black hmm? Is there an ivory? ivory black yeah, I think there is an ivory. Yeah, there's an ivory. But there, I have trouble really controlling that very well. They're so intense. I mean, just put a speck of that, and, and it just makes the other colors really dark. Payne's gray is semi-transparent, and it's cool. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll add some white and I'll, I'll show you how bluish it gets. I think it will get blue in this room. <laughs> oh, I should show you another trick. Mm -hmm. See how much oil is in there? Yeah. I feel that I remember. I, what I do is, I think this one's oily also. Frenzy in it. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm gonna let this sit for a while. You can take a porous piece of paper, some people use an index card, mm -hmm. um, or just bond paper, and you put your oil paint on, the, on this porous paper, and it acts like a blotter, it'll take out It'll the uh, some of the oil will leach out of there, and uh, and make it easy, a little easier to work with. So here's my paint spray, and and here's uh, soft mixing white. I, I've talked about this before. I think that Winton, which is a Winthrop and Newton student grade line, uh, were the first. Well, uh, maybe it was Grumbacher. Uh, to create a color called soft mixing white. It's the same as titanium white. But uh, one, another f picture painting factor with oil paint is they want white color paint to be very thick. You know, they want it to look opaque. So you have like a four or five different white colors. And, and of course, you, you, you change to make your col your color recipes, they call them, uh, you're always adding white because they come out of the tube quite dark. But soft mixing white, I think, has a more oil, more of an oil content, and that's why they call it a mixing white rather than a, you know, titanium white. Or zinc white is another one. Mm -hmm. 
There was another one in years. I don't know if they make it anymore. It's called MG White. And it was really, it was like a pace. <coughs> you know? If, uh, like a, a guy who has lots of jewelry and mm -hmm. sparkling things on their um, costume, uh, you'll see that the white highlights for like a string of pearls or something like that, that it's actually dimensional. It actually, I mean, you stand back six or eight feet and it looks like a photograph. It's, it's amazing. But so you're saying you do like to mix with the rather than titanium white with the salt with the mixing whites? I use yeah. I've been okay. I started the soft mixing white about five six years ago, and and I think it it works a lot better. You can get more subtlety that way. It, it's not it as really opaque. does mix well. Is titanium white a little bit more opaque? Um. This is... This